Welcome back to Literosity. Summer Bridge looks a little different this year. It took a twist, just like a murder mystery, right into a court case. Let's find out more. We worked across content areas to invigorate our middle school Summer Bridge program, involving four different units. Dissecting and interpreting the crime scene of the historic Boston Massacre, preparing for a criminal trial involving the First Amendment rights of the press, using literacy to break codes in order to escape Mars, and a reading unit with the middle school favorite, Diary of a Wimpy Kid. We visited three of our middle schools to see these units in action. So today was our first time introducing the trial experience to them. So a lot of them, we were mostly want to see where they were at, like what language they knew um, as far as the legal aspect is concerned, um, how if they knew how the courts work, like um, what steps they take, who comes and when. Um, we discussed uh, all the different roles in the court. Um, so today we just pretty much want to give them the basis of like how court works. Remember, your opening statement is like your introduction. So we have to explain all of the important things and just give an overview of the topic. So what today when we were going over a lot of the court case things, we were talking about how it could relate to an essay. So that's kind of what we're building up to. So it's cool to see their connection to that and even knowing all the parts of the essay and how that really goes into what they're doing as a court and seeing how like with the Boston Massacre, we talked about, oh, you're a detective in this case. And now we're saying, oh, well, you're a lawyer in this case. How could you argue? Yeah. And being in Summer Bridge, how has that helped you um, keep up your literacy and reading over the summer? And how do you think that'll help you into next school year? I think it will help me because I'll be a little bit ahead of the kids so that, like, I could get, I could continue to get good grades in, like, sixth grade. We several pieces of well, could you tell us how different Summer Bridge is this year for the students and the activities than you've seen in the past and how that is helping them even further their literacy skills? It, there is, um, what I like is the connections to the things they're actually going to learn, real life things, history and that kind of stuff. Um, and they get up and move. So today they were in groups and they walked around, they did, a, I call it a gallery walk and they walked around, they discussed it. So they were talking to each other, which is something they need. They weren't in front of computers, which I really love. And so they're having a good time with that, but they're also learning and having a good time and they're interacting with each other and they're getting used to middle school. Besides the curriculum piece, what is one big um, thing outside of curriculum that you think that, that's beneficial for the students as they move into next year that they're learning in summer break? Oh my goodness, they're learning the way of work. They're learning how to walk through the line in the cafeteria. You know, they're learning how to get their breakfast, they're learning how to clean up, they're learning how to get to first period on time, they're learning how to shift from having one little teacher all day long to having four of us this summer, but they're going to transition to seven. So it's a nice step up. Um, they're getting to know their teachers and they become kind of our campus experts because the first day of school, this is sixth grade hall. So when they start, this is going to be their home for a year. So it looks like the citizens were being attacked. Yes. So it looks like it's murdered. Look at the title, too. What's it called? Um, so today we're doing, um, we have to look at the pictures and figure out whether we think it's murder, uh, self-defense, or an accident. And what are you learning as you go through this process? How to identify what is happening in the pictures. Summer Bridge can be fun because you get to meet new friends and you get to ask what like school you're going to and if they say like the school that you're going to then you guys could be friends and you guys can hang out at lunch or breakfast. So I noticed you guys were on the escape room to Mars. What have you noticed um, the skills the students are building? in this particular unit? Well, they've been learning multiple choice skills, um, multiple choice test taking strategies as well as text marking. So it's kind of giving them the ability to navigate the article with like hashtags and what the central idea of each paragraph's about. They focus on what's important in the article, like the subheadings, and it allows them to better comprehend what they're reading. What's the catch? What do they call that season? How does literacy play a part in what you're doing? How is this helping you with your with your reading and how will it help you next year? This is going to help us because we're learning new words that are like complicated. So like we make it next year, if you read a book like, I guess like a chapter book about about how like the earth is going to die or something, and they have m words that we can't understand. So soon later we know what's what it means. So we don't get stuck on the what it means in the book. How do you think everything you're, you're doing in um, the reading portion of Summer Bridge is going to help you 
and literacy when you get back during the school year? Reading, well, like yesterday I just went out to Barnes and Nobles and got a new book. Which like this, definitely reading here has helped me. Cause like, I got a little bit rusty when I first came here. I was like, but now you know, I adjusted and I'm ready for next year already. Good morning. So tell us, what books did you get on the book bus and why? Well, I got Night World, the first, second, and the third book because it just looks so interesting and I just like, like want to have that experience of reading interesting books. It like makes me happy because like I just know that I'm not like falling behind in reading. I got Kingdom Keepers, um, I think it's six because I've read every single series since third grade and I've been waiting for the next series to come out and I didn't know when this came out but I finally found it and this is a pretty big book so it takes me a long time to finish. In addition to Summer Bridge and our book bus, there are camps all throughout our district this summer. For example, right here at John Hopkins, there's been a series of journalism camps. Well, this is an excellent opportunity for our students over the summer to enhance their digital media skills. Today we're learning about honing our writing skills. And so this is an opportunity that we're offering for middle and high school students. And so again, it's a chance for them to enhance um, and learn a little bit more about digital media. Talk to me a little bit about your approach. What made you think, uh, what made you take that direction? Uh, this is the third uh, digital media clinic that we have had this summer. Um, with the idea to try to get students interested in journalism and our journalism program, which begins at Melrose, goes to John Hopkins Middle, and uh, ends at Lakewood High School. So we have some Lakewood High School kids and some John Hopkins kids. And we just want them to be familiar with what it takes to be a good multimedia journalist. Today's workshop is called um, Honing Your Writing and Editing Skills because no matter what the platform, if you can't write to engage people and you can't make somebody interested in what your, what your story is about, then you might as well not try. So we're trying to get um, kids interested in telling really good stories and in um, learning to love writing. So I've been at Channel 8. 19 years our, uh, our very first camp was with Rod Carter uh, from Channel 8. He was one of our facilitators and we actually learned interviewing skills and so the students had a chance to work with him one-on-one -on -one and practice interviewing. I'm a different kind of anchor so I like to shoot video and I like to write stories. I'm here to talk to these great young people about journalism. Um, I love what I do, love sharing what I do with uh, students, a better appreciation of what we do, the importance of what we do, and just from a skill set point of view, how to talk to people, how to interview people, how to be comfortable interviewing people, how to prepare for those interviews, and when the interviews are actually going on, how to ask those questions and dig a little bit deeper and get different answers. Um, and as you go along in the business, you learn sometimes you have to press people even more um, because maybe you're asking something they don't want to talk about. What do you think about people in their lifetime I'm going through the struggles with their family? That's a big question. What do I think? You know what? I think um, there are family struggles that a lot of people, a lot of us deal with. What are your hopes for the students who have attended the summer programs for them to walk away with? Oh, well, after this summer, I'm really hoping that our students will take this information, take the skills that they have learned, and actually implement it at their school. Um, certainly training the trainer. Um, so we're hoping that they'll go back to their editorial teams and train others to be uh, journalism. Uh, students as well. So what's one big thing you think you'll walk away with from this program that's really going to help you as you continue in your high school career? Um, one thing that will probably help me is the editing because usually I make a lot of mistakes when I write. So that's one thing that I really need to work on. But other than that, I really just wanted to walk away with experience and knowing that I've done something positive this summer and I've did something I've done something to benefit myself. I love journalism because I get to interview people a lot. Like I love to speak with other people so I can know what's wrong with them and the struggles they're going through. And I learned that the importance in the community and it was really fun and how I learned how journalism matter. And earlier this summer, there was a Spanish immersion camp at Eckerd College. What's amazing about the camp is that it allows the students to activate the language they've already learned, and then they add a little bit more 
more that they need in the moment. And we know from language acquisition research, that's what makes it stick. Because it's an immersion and the students are going to have to stay in Spanish all the time, we look at the actual abilities of the students and their proficiency levels, and we group them according to proficiency levels so that the students who are about at the same place in their learning are learning together. Um, every day they do an art or a craft project. Today they're making masks, and um, our theme this year is Colombia, so they're using, um, they learned earlier in the day about Colombian designs and the masks and what they're used for and how they're used to celebrate. And, um, and so now they're making their own and designing their own. Um, so then in the evenings, they usually get together with their groups and they work on little group projects. So the first night, um, they all decorate their doors with stuff about themselves. So as they're walking around the hallways, they can learn about each other and they can know a little bit about themselves and also helps the teachers know which kids are in which rooms. <laughs> What we want is to activate that and to help them start putting it together in real life situations. Because Spanish classes at the most are an hour and a half long in the school system and every other day, it's not the same as being in an immersive environment where they need to be able to say specific things. Because when they have that need to talk, and they definitely want to communicate with each other, <laughs> then, um, then that's when they are actually acquiring the language and activating stuff that they know but they didn't always connect it and put it all together. Yes, yeah, so this camp helps me to become more comfortable speaking Spanish, so that is definitely helpful in the classroom, especially when we have speaking exams. Also we do a lot of review for grammar and um, yeah, grammatical purposes in Spanish, so in school. Um, my favorite part is interacting with all the other students and like just being immersed by the Spanish because you're constantly hearing it. It's all, there's almost never a time when you are not hearing Spanish. So as you can see, there's been so many learning opportunities throughout the summer in our district to prepare our students for the new school year. We're so excited to begin. Thanks for watching Literosity. I'm Chastity Downing. We'll see you next time.